Hello, my name is Alexander Ermenkov. I'm a ruling reality coach and today on the 20th of October 2022, I would like to present you again my series Reality Subject to Influence. During the month of October, I'm reducing my weight. I started 116.7 kilograms. Today I'm 111.2. Yesterday I was 110.2 kilograms. So during the last four days, where actually I'm just willing to go into water fasting, but I'm eating a little bit and I'm in the um, zone between 110 and 111 kilograms. Yesterday, when, when I was 110.2 kilograms, before this I was 110.7 kilograms, so actually through the predictability I was expecting today to be less. But since I ate again yesterday and I just switched my mind during the evening hours, actually now I'm again more than what I was. And that's why I would like to speak with you about predictability, projection and expectation. So often we are predicting what is going to happen based on what was happening yesterday, based on the last tendency. And we think that we, the human beings, are like robots. That once we have done something once or twice or three times, then we are going to continue this forever. The problem with reality is that it is non-linear and that's why it is not easy to predict and actually it is unpredictable to some extent. Now, if we start gambling, you and me, what are my kilos going to be tomorrow? It is not so easy to predict it, though if I'm 100% strict and I'm 100% embracing the uh, process, of water fasting, for example, 100% we can predict today that my weight is going to be reduced. Then where is the unpredictable part? The unpredictable part is in my behavior. We, the human beings, actually think that we are very predictable, but also we see in life that this is 100% the opposite. So many times we do unpredictable things and mainly this is the part of us that we need to train long term because everything that we want, everything that we put our intent upon when we are influencing reality, the first things that starts to happen, totally the opposite situation start to present before us in the outside reality. So then the important thing is how we actually deal with it because in order reality to be influenced, there need to be enough care so that we go through these first presentations of the opposite that we want, the so-called enticement and things that are making us to do a lot of different things that we actually long term don't want to do. The so-called temptations. Yes, they exist. Yes, they are presented before us just because we need to train with them to learn that these temptations are presented before us just because our care muscle need to become stronger and actually long term we can be much more focused. Of course, we will never be 100% as robots when we decide something is just to start happening all the time. All we know the processes of cause and effect. We all know that if we perform certain way, we can expect results that are similar to what our performance is performances. The problem is that actually in reality it doesn't happen all the time like this and that's why for me personally it is important we to be in a relaxation mode, we to be in the correctiveness mode, we to be in a mode where we know 100% that everything that we want can never happen, can happen sometimes, 
sometimes it's not going to happen well Alex but this is actually no influence at all because you cannot 100% state something you cannot make one prediction that is going to happen 100% in one future moment of time so you are saying me that you are not a prophet you cannot actually 100% say what is going to happen with you tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, or after 20 days, yes, it is so. But what I can do about everything that is probable around me, I can use my intent, I can influence reality from outside, uh, from inside out, I can choose the processes which I'm going to embrace, and actually, long term, to some extent, you have can have predictability but also you need to be 100% sure that everything is always possible and everything can turn and shift in any moment so is it something that is very bad is it something that is very crucial do I need now to 100% go into extinction extinctions mode because I'm just swifting like this through my daily reality. No, the important thing is the long-term tendency. It doesn't matter that you fluctuate a little bit in this direction, in this direction or whatever, but the long-term tendency and direction when it's put towards a specific Go a specific intention of what you want to see in the physical matter reality then in the long term game if you are and if I am enough uh, willing and enough caring about our end result then it is inevitably going to be revealed before you and before me it doesn't matter here is the projection part because when we project in the future we have a fixed image but actually in the future things can be much more different but for sure what we are learning that every future moment is perfect representation of who we actually are in this specific moment so if you ask okay Alex why now in this moment you are stuck and you are not able to actually perform as well as you are willing and you are all, all, all the time just swifting around and you cannot just give us a perfect example of a steady process that is constantly creating something it is because actually I am not caring quite enough about the end result but also it is because I am allowing and I am okay that things never goes into straight line but the most important part is to never stop trying to always continue to always stand up to move forward to not lose confidence but to continue in the same direction when you go to the fitness and when you go to the gym not every day is the best performance but if you are going into the gym daily or uh, regularly you are going to see the compound effect of the long-term results towards a specific goal so this is what I am willing to tell you there are so many things in my life that are right now happening they are not happening the way I'm projecting so long term if you stop projecting it will be wonderful because then every day is going to reveal before you some parts of what you want a lot of parts of what you don't want but then you accept everything as it is you reflect of what new you need to express 
from your part in order next day and the next day things to be much more aligned this is very important because then you will not lose your happiness and your fulfillment because every moment it doesn't matter how unperfect it looks like from the perspective of your expectations of your predictions about what the future moment should be this is the perfect moment for me and for you. And this allows me today to be happy, to be joyful about everything that I am and not to just stay in this moment and to actually have expectation about another better, more wonderful moment. I know a lot of us think that our future version of ourselves, our future reality is much more better, much more wonderful than our reality today. But from the perspective of reality, this is not true. Because when you go into your future self, you will feel as miserable as your today self is feeling when you embrace this moment in the future, because then you are going to say, well, my future self is going to be wonderful and today I'm doing nothing. So actually all the time you can or stay in the zone and in the moment and in the presence of what is right now, or you can always disguise, de despise, and regret about your present moment and can put your mind upon the expectation, upon the prediction, upon the projection of something else that you want to be. The problem with reality is that reality is giving us a feedback and is willing from us to be real people, real human beings that are okay all the time with who they are and are influencing long-term reality with what they want to be but without ignoring and neglecting who they are in any moment so any moment is perfect for you the next moment is perfect for you the next moment is perfect for you it doesn't mean that this moment in the future is actually better than this moment when is today. It is like saying, Alex, when I was a small kid, a small child, I made so many imperfections and it was 100% worst moments for me. Now I am adult, I do so many things beautifully. And when I compare my adulthood with my, my childhood, from the perspective of what my, I'm able, I actually don't like my childhood. But from the perspective of your childhood, this was the best moment of your, eye, uh, of your life. You are then dreaming, you are joyful, you are playful. So never compare this moment in time and space with the next moment in time and space because all the moments are perfect as they are so instead of just predicting but from the perspective of being something else instead of predicting from the perspective that we don't like where we are better enjoy every moment what we are all creating and be fulfilled and joyful every day of our life because nothing else matter but the present moments of course it doesn't mean that long term we are not willing to rule and to influence things upon our future moments but not from the perspective that we do them better that we make them more different or whatever or whatever 
it is just that we are expressing new beautiful things that we are willing to experience and nothing more so thank you for watching today enjoy your present moments and use prediction and projection but very soberly and don't compare the moments in your life